Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cobra, also known as It's Miss K. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do share my financial journey here on YouTube and my content usually revolves around my money mindset as well as my money management. So if it is something you think you'll enjoy, definitely go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any other future uploads. <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay, so you know what? Let me tell you something. I missed my money mindset talks. So your girl's about to bring it all the way back, okay? So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing a money mindset talk. It's essentially going to be all about resetting for the month of February. Honestly, I feel like for me personally, the month of January was like a roller coaster. It went like this and then it just woo, went all the way down. But I am resetting, I'm renewing my intentions, and I'm also working on my mindset. So I figured I would come on here and share with you guys because I know I'm not the only one struggling out there. So today's topic is mostly going to be how to let go of negative thoughts or simply negativity in order for you to be able to work towards your money mindset. When it comes to your financial journey and honestly anything in life, if you are in a space that is filled with negativity or you yourself have created a bubble filled with negativity, it's definitely going to be hard for you to attain your goals. And honestly, I do believe that a lot of times we do forget how our personal life overflows into the life we aspire to have for ourselves or create for ourselves. So I've noticed a few habits that I myself am going to be working on. I'm currently working on because my money mindset is everything. It is going to be the key to me achieving my goals and becoming financially free. So that being said, today I'm going to be talking about five habits that we're going to implement in order to let go of negativity and grow our money mindset, all right? So starting with the first habit, and that is to actually be real with yourself. You need to admit that you are being negative. You need to admit the fact that there is a source of negativity that you are dwelling in. A lot of times, personally, I like to just brush things off. If you're a Sagittarius like me, you already know we're not confrontational. So you just brush things off. We're too nice. We're too kind. We tend to just let things go and let things go so much that sometimes we don't realize that it is affecting us internally. And that's also going to be creating like a series of consequences, right? So it's definitely important to acknowledge that there is a source of negativity that is holding you back in life and even from becoming your best self. So for me, I'm doing two things. I am analyzing and figuring out what are my triggers. So what is it that's triggering the negativities I am creating within my own space and that I am bringing into my own life and as well as figuring out what are the external source of negativity that's coming and overflowing into my life. So that is super important because when it comes to your money mindset, if you are negative and if you feel like you are surrounded by people who do not believe in you or who are constantly breathing negativity, negative thoughts, or limiting beliefs into you, then you're not going to be able to achieve the goals you want to achieve. For example, let's say you're with people and you're telling them about the fact that you're planning on saving, let's say 10K this year, and they're like, why are you saving your money? Or they're gonna basically um, belittle you by saying, you know, you're a huge spender. I don't think you can do it. And yeah, that's basically impossible. Those negative talks are going to go ahead and trigger a spiral of emotions in you and it's going to trigger what your limiting beliefs and you're actually going to think like oh hey maybe they're right but they're not right it's a complete lies honestly one thing i've realized when it comes to negativity for myself and for yourself okay we need to keep our circle small by keeping our circle small it's a thousand times easier to regulate what type of energy we are surrounded by when you are on social media then it is a little bit different but of course the people you deal with directly are going to have a huge impact on the way you think and on your aura and on your vibes all right so there we go habit number one is acknowledging that there is a negative energy in your life and doing something about it all right habit number two and i think that this one has been pivotal for my self and personal growth and that is only to focus on things you can control let me tell you how we have all wasted so much time on things that were out of our control and that just brings us into a cycle in life that is going to be recurrent and that is going to be never ending and that is going to be what pointless focus on things that you can control okay so for example let's say you want to start your savings journey okay or let's say you just want to start your financial journey and right now you're working a nine to five job that you feel is not bringing enough income right so Instead of stressing about the fact that you're not getting enough income and you're like, yo, you know what? I need to go get myself another source of income, but the market is bad 
and i've been applying for jobs you've been stressing out and you have not been putting in the effort to just control whatever income you have right now at the moment then what you need to do is take a step back and you need to remind yourself hey i do have a job right now what is it that i can do at this very moment that's going to enable me to be even more financially free or financially independent with what i have in my current situation that is within my control so for example i'm going to go through all of my expenses i'm going to pinpoint all of my useless expenses that i know i can cut off which will then bring me even more income that i can put towards paying off my debt um saving up for a car investing or putting money away so i can start my business which could then lead to me creating and having a brand new source of income so let me tell you honestly when it comes to life it's going to be either with you or against you okay and a lot of times we don't realize that we are the ones that are setting the precedent in terms of how we are living our lives and it's all in here it's all about how we perceive things and situations and how we then decide to control and take action so only focus on things you can control that's definitely going to help you within your money mindset and allowing yourself to be like hey you know what let me focus on the baby steps baby steps are huge you never know what can lead where we need to focus on the things you can control another thing you will gain is a sense of power and a sense of confidence because whatever is within your hands whatever is within reach is what you're controlling it's yours to tackle it's yours to master so there you go so that's habit number two is focusing on things you can control moving on to my third habit i feel like that should definitely be it could have been the first one but anyways and it's going to be gratitude a lot of times speaking for myself first we tend to always focus on what the end goal okay by focusing on the end goal we're like this is what i want to achieve this is what i want to have so on and so forth but by doing that whatever you currently have at the moment is being let go and it's being devalued Right? What I'm saying is we need to stop going into this pattern of thinking that we're only going to be happy once we've achieved our goals. The idea here is to always be mindful of the journey and always be grateful of what we have. There is a million and plus things that we can be grateful for. So that's one thing I'm working on, y'all. One thing about me is I am hard on myself and I feel like I can always do better and I can always get more in terms of like my results so i am being more conscious of the fact that i am overly blessed with what god has blessed me with and by being grateful god is always going to give you more always be mindful of the fact that you already have something within yourself which is going to propel you god willing to achieve your goals right but always remember that the end goal is not going to be the ultimate factor that's going to be bringing you happiness what's going to be bringing you happiness is enjoying the journey and being grateful within your progress you know whatever progress you're making simply being grateful for that right so i think i've read a quote somewhere it's about not being the best but just being better than i was yesterday and that is the whole idea as long as you're putting in work and you're consistently showing up for yourself and no matter what aspect of your life you're not aiming for perfection you're aiming for progress it is just a matter of time god willing before you achieve your goals but always remind yourself that there is so much more in life than dwelling and pain and sorrow and like not being grateful there is so much more in life there's just so much more like for me i've started this um whole system in which or habit in which when i do wake up i start with like positive affirmations and getting my mind right because that's going to set the tone for your day so gratitude is definitely something i'm implementing every single day and i think it's easy to forget to be grateful because that's going to go hand in hand with my money mindset knowing that i can because god has given me and i am grateful and i know that he will give me more that's really it honestly i don't know why it shows like i'm oily but i said my face so so gratitude is huge because when we think about it if we're not grateful whenever we do reach as any type of stepping stone or milestone we'll never have the time to really take in the progress and enjoy the fact that we have reached a new high right or a new level of where we want it to be so being mindful of being grateful all the time regardless of where you are is going to allow you to be more empathetic towards yourself and others when it comes to your journey all right so that's habit number three all right so let's go ahead and move on to habit number four when it comes to letting go of negativity in order for us to grow our money mindset we have believing in yourself it sounds cliche right 
it sounds like it's something that it's easy to achieve or something that everybody would have but let me tell you i had to face my own self and i realized that i have so many limiting beliefs and that low-key like i doubt myself a lot and because i doubt myself a lot sometimes i am fearful of like maybe starting something or sometimes i'm just like super afraid or uncomfortable and getting my foot wet in something that i'm not familiar with and why is that is because i have doubts but you know what when it comes to believing in yourself it cannot be 99 percent cannot be 97 percent cannot be a hundred percent it has to be a thousand percent and that's one thing i'm realizing because at the end of the day you're always going to have people that are, that are willing and waiting to bring you down but you need to be that one person that says you know what i don't care what people say what people think because i know what's in here i know what's in here and i know for a fact that my idea my purpose my goals and my objectives are things that i know i will achieve because i believe in what i am aspiring to become so when it comes to self-belief it is constant work it's a journey it's a process you know it's not something that can happen overnight you know everyone is different so depending on your lifestyle your upbringing and just your mindset and just who you are as an individual it's just going to be different for everybody but it brings me back to the first habit of just being true to yourself if you know that you have doubts within yourself then work on those try and unravel what makes you doubtful sometimes what makes you doubting yourself is simply because of the fact that you don't have enough knowledge in a specific aspect of things and that kind of intimidates you and you're like oh snap i don't know if i can do this but to be honest, whatever it is within yourself, you need to pull that out and figure out what that source of negativity is coming from. That way you can work on it. A lot of times, things that we don't know is because we don't know. Things we fear is because we don't know. We're not familiar with it. And when it comes to unfamiliarity, it's amazing. You know why? Because you can change it to familiarity. And that's something that's going to evolve into something even bigger. It's going to grow your confidence. It's going to grow your reach and your self-worth and the way you see and perceive yourself imagine thinking you're unable to achieve a goal and proving yourself wrong i'm not talking about proving anybody else wrong but proving yourself wrong first do you know how much of an impact you're going to have within yourself you're gonna be like i'm that girl <laughs> but that's what i'm saying like just believing in ourselves is pivotal because at the end of the day you only got yourself you're going to have people that's going to be bringing you down doesn't matter how close they are to you can be family or friends but as long as you believe in yourself and you put a barrier when it comes to like limiting beliefs and down yourself that's okay you're going to know that at the end of the day regardless of what happens you got yourself you got the knowledge you need to achieve your goals and all you need to do is put in work and being consistent and with time everything is going to be good you know so that's habit number four habit number five is going to be one that i am working on y'all <laughs> i'm smiling because i know myself okay and it is to allow time to just do its thing i know a lot of people don't like the word patience but we need to be patient in life you cannot rush anything what is meant for you will be for you what is not meant for you will not be for you so if you're working hard like i had mentioned on habit number four if you're working hard you're putting in the work right you're constantly acquiring knowledge you're putting it into action you're believing in yourself and you know that what you're doing is going to work because you've established a strategy and a system then enjoy the process and let time do its thing when it comes to our money mindset right we need to know that it is a work in progress so essentially when it comes to for example saving are you saving a lot because a lot of people out here don't believe that they can save money for whatever um goals they have but listen, last year, it took me a whole year for me to save how much I saved at the end of the year, right? I've had hiccups along the road. One thing is I remember at the beginning of my journey, this is very important because I remember like at the beginning of my journey, my mindset was super bad. I had nothing in my envelopes. I had nothing. And I was like watching other people's cash traffic videos. And I was like, oh, snap, they got so much. Like, what am I doing? I'm starting with nothing. And how do I think I can achieve it? But y'all, look at what one year did, Okay look at what one year did in one year i was able to save up money pay off my debts start my business and level up in so many ways you need to do what's right by letting time do its thing nothing can happen overnight a lot of times nothing happens overnight it's consistency resiliency and faith that brings fruit to all the labor you're putting in okay 
So that's a reminder to myself. Let me tell you, that's a reminder to myself because I'm not gonna lie, I can't be impatient because I am hard on myself. I can be impatient. What whether it's my financial journey, I want more, I want to do better. When it comes to my fitness journey, I want to lose faster. Anything. So habit number five, let's allow ourselves to let time do its thing. And that's going to help us with our money mindset because at the end of the day, as long as we have structure, we can only elevate. As long as we have strategy, we can only elevate. As long as we have faith, we can only elevate. So it's all about leveling up and going up from here. But it does start with us and the way we think. So that's it. I hope you did enjoy today's money mindset talk. And let me know if you would like any other topics in particular, if there's something particularly you would like for me to address in terms of money mindset. But yeah, one thing I've realized that I'm working on is the way I feel is going to definitely have an impact on the way I work. So we need to always remind ourselves to go back to the roots of things and always work on becoming better for our future, all right? So I hope you did enjoy today's video and I'll catch you next time. If you did make it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and leave me a purple heart because why not? And I hope you do stay blessed and happy and joyful and in peace. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Peace and love. Bye.